Hey, let's talk about megabases. Everyone loves this word. And by that, I mean the algorithm loves this word. Seriously, if you see this video popping off, it's honestly just cause I put mega in the title. But what does megabase actually mean? Mega is a prefix often used in the international system of units, which has made its way into the common vernacular more so than adjacent quantitative words such as tera, peta, and zeta. Specifically, the prefix is defined as having the factor of 10 to the 6th power. The word itself actually originates from ancient Greek where- Nah, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We're not doing that. I promise you, we're not doing that. Mega means big, okay? Mega equals big. There we go. Discussion over. Really, a mega base is just a large Minecraft base. That's really it. But even though the only requirement is size, building on that kind of scale creates a whole new bunch of challenges that you might not anticipate right away. And that's where I come in. Sit back, relax, and enjoy 7 quick tips for making mega bases in Minecraft. Okay, this one is easily the most important, and for once, I'm gonna be nice to you guys and your attention spans and just say it right away. In my opinion, the best kind of build style for megabases is not one huge structure, but rather many smaller structures all coming together. This is always a little bit hard to explain, so let me give you an example. Here's a giant hole in the ground. It's my still unfinished industrial district kinda steampunky thing from my 1.18 survival series. It's the closest thing I've ever made to a megabase in regular survival Minecraft. And this thing is really, really sick. But as you can see, it's kind of just one giant structure. In the same world over here, we can see a cute little cottage court inspired village that I built for my villager trading. It's definitely not nearly as big as the industrial area, so don't worry, I'm not calling this mega at all. But you can see that it's made up of a bunch of smaller buildings clustered together in a very cute, chaotic way. The important difference between these two building methods, the one giant structure and the many smaller structures is that it's way harder to fully build out and complete one giant build. Burnout is a really real problem. Plenty of people start a project that's just a bit too big for them and end up with a build that lacks detail, doesn't have a backside, or just straight up never made it very far. And that's totally fine, you're valid if you do that. But what I'm suggesting is that making a megabase out of many smaller builds is a way to get around this very big issue. In case you get burnt out, get bored or whatever, you still have a completed build. It's just smaller. Assuming you're trying to make a build using my recommended design philosophy in tip 1, you'll probably need some good inspiration. Obviously, good inspo is important for any Minecraft project, but especially megabases. And especially, especially if you want to do the whole make a base out of many smaller builds kind of thing. Here's a few ideas that I've never gotten around to making before, but I think could work really, really well. A rustic medieval village built within a giant fortified border wall. You'll need to make a lot of buildings, but if you burn out you can always fill the rest of the empty areas with farmland or pastures. A huge, sprawling, underground cave base taking full advantage of the new 1.18 terrain generation. You can start from a hub and branch outwards with pathways going in all sorts of different directions, holding tons of different farms, storage, and giant support pillars all built into the rock. If you burn out partway through, you can always just wall up the remaining tunnels. No one will ever know. Or maybe a beautiful tropical island resort. This is an idea I've actually been keeping on the back burner for over a year now. It sounds really fun to take a big tropical island and completely transform it with cabins, luxury hotel rooms, pristine beach fronts, sparkling clear pools, and everything else that you'd find in a dream resort. And you know what? I think today's the day we finally start working on this. I've already picked out an area for this build and we're gonna start it in today's video. Keep an eye out for a future video when we get around to finishing it. If you're building in survival, really take the time to invest in some proper megabase infrastructure. What do I mean by infrastructure? I mean like farms, transportation systems, and storage to make your life a lot easier. I totally get that lots of people kind of just shrug this off because, you know, when you've got a super cool idea, you just want to get down and build it right away. But really do take some time to set up your infrastructure beforehand and you'll be thanking yourself later. I highly recommend setting up a villager trading hall as they're actually easier than you think. 
No real redstone required, other than pushing villagers around in minecarts, which is very, very annoying. And you can get so many blocks and EXP out of them. Other simpler farms that would be very useful for large builds are a piglin bartering hall for gravel, a moss farm for moss and bone meal, a flower farm for dyes, or if you really, really want to be extra, you could even make a tree farm for wood and sticks. As for storage, <sighs> trust me. Chest monsters are awful. It's always better to start off with a bunch of empty storage and gradually fill it up rather than put down more chests as you go. Hopefully with this in mind, the actual mega base construction process will go a lot more smoothly. As you build, try starting with the larger shapes and filling in details later. As I'm working on my resort here, you can see that I'm starting with the general shape and block composition of the island, plus doing some terraforming, and I'm gonna go through and add in some of the large structure outlines later. By doing this, you can get a good idea of the size and shape of various things in relation to each other, and you won't have to tear down or move as many things later on once you've already put tons of hours into the build. I'm sure that it's gonna be hard to resist the urge to start detailing stuff right away, and if you're positive that you're not going to make any mistakes, don't let me stop you. But I've been in many situations in the past where I built something I very much liked, only to realize later that it was in the wrong spot. And man, that hurts. So yeah, if it helps, you can try outlining with colorful blocks like wool or concrete, or just making a basic shell of each building. Of course, if you're making a mega base out of a bunch of smaller builds, you might not want to plan like this, but at least these outlines are easy to take down if you end up scaling back your building ambitions. Keeping a consistent scale is tough, but it's really gonna help your build look good. The thing about mega bases is that they're big. Very insightful, I know. Wow, real genius 5 million IQ kind of stuff right there. I know, crazy. Nah, but actually though, mega bases are at a scale that you usually don't build at when you're making like normal person Minecraft structures, so it can be a bit tricky to get things right. This mostly applies to people building one giant structure like a mega mansion or a huge castle or something like that. Keep in mind that all of the different parts of the build, the doors, windows, pathways, hallways, etc., they're all gonna need to scale up too. Imagine that this is part of a giant castle mega build. And now imagine if there is a normal player sized door on it. It would look so silly. In my opinion, you need a door that's at least this big for it to make any sense. This can also kind of apply to builds that are made of many small structures, but in a different way. You might be tempted to really spread out your builds to make the mega base as a whole seem larger. And I get that, trust me. But you don't want a ton of empty space in between things. Make sure to leave enough space between buildings, sure, but also fill in those areas with pathways, gardens, piles of trash, or really anything else that would fit in. As you build, break down your steps into bite-sized, manageable pieces and take them on one at a time. Like I said in tip 4, staying organized is really the most important thing, but you can be organized in many different ways. Just as important as organizing your items is being able to organize your thoughts and ideas. I like to divide up my big ideas into smaller, individual projects that are a lot more easy to manage. For example, with my tropical island here, a large-scale task might be something like bat in all the trees, or build Build up all the buildings, but that's a lot. Having these awkwardly huge one-liner tasks is not going to be helpful and can really force burnout on you. Instead, I'm going to be breaking them down into something like this. 1. Design four different designs of palm tree. 2. Copy and paste them across the island in different orientations. 3. Add smaller details to some of the palm trees like roots and melons in order to make them seem a little bit more unique. 4. Figure out a design for the snack bar. 5. Sketch a basic design for the cabins and replicate it wherever you want a cabin. By breaking down these tasks, we're making things more approachable and easier to understand. This also makes gathering resources a lot easier since you won't be juggling as many different kinds of items at once. Trust me, it really helps. Don't give up. 
With these kinds of huge projects, you're here for the long haul. I know this is kind of cheesy and whatever, but it's true. Mega bases are going to take a long time, no matter how much prep and infrastructure stuff you do beforehand. And that's okay. One thing I've learned lately from my real life job is the importance of pacing yourself as you work. If you exhaust all your creative energy doing as much as possible in like a week, you probably won't get nearly as much done compared to if you worked on it a little bit each day or even once every few days over a much longer period of time. Just remember to chill out, sit back, and enjoy the building process as much as you can because that's really what Minecraft is about. Alrighty gamers, that is just about all the time I've got for today. If you're hearing this message right now, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. You're really doing a lot to help out my channel, recommending my videos to other people, and I really love that. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed today's build. I know it's not finished, but we'll be coming back to this project some other time and finishing up our tropical resort build, so definitely keep an eye out for that. Until next time gamers, this has been Leon, and I will see you all in the next. 7 Quick Tips video. Feels good to say that again. Take care, my dudes.